Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Sunday, July 15th, 2018. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's baseball action, look ahead to today's baseball action, go over the Summer League action from yesterday, go over a very surprising, to say the least, but at the same time not so surprising considering how the team has underperformed this season's managerial firing. But I'm going to start with the FIFA World Cup. The final is going on as we speak, entering... The 55th minute, France is up 2-1 to one on Croatia as of right now. The first goal of the game was an own goal in the 18th minute by Mario Mandusic to give France a 1-0 lead. Then Ivan Perisic in the 28th minute tied it up at one apiece. Then Antoine Griezmann in the 38th minute on the penalty kick gave France a 2-1 lead. And that's where we stand right now. Baseball from yesterday... Going to go over the scores, look at today's games, as I mentioned. The Pirates defeated the Brewers 2-1 to in Game 1 of their doubleheader. Pittsburgh improves to 46-49, and Milwaukee drops to 55-41. and Richard Rodriguez improves to 2-2. Two and two. Chase Anderson drops to 6-7. and seven. Felipe Vasquez gets his 22nd save of the year. Bottom of the first, home run Starling Marte, one off the Buccos. Home run Gregory Polanco, 2 nothing Buccos. Top of the fifth, RBI single Christian Yelich. Brewers get on the board 2-1, but... Pittsburgh hangs on to win, and Milwaukee loses their fourth straight game. Avanova, four and two thirds, hitting seven hits, and earned run, no walks, three strikeouts, leaves a game of the 4.38 ERA. Chase Anderson, five and a third inning, six hits, two runs, two walks, four strikeouts, leaves a game of the 3.78 ERA. The Red Sox defeat the Blue Jays, six to two in ten innings. They improved to 67 and 30. Toronto drops to 43 and 51. Craig Kimbrell improves to 2 and 1. Chris Rowley drops to 0 and 1. Bottom of the fourth, home run JD Martinez. 1 0 Sox. Top of the seventh, RBI ground out, Edlemis Diaz. 1 1. RBI single, Ludez Guriel. 2 1 Jays. Bottom of the ninth, RBI double, Jackie Bradley Jr. off of Tyler Clipper. Ties it up in 2 apiece. Bottom of the tenth, the walk off Grand Slam. Xander Bogarts. 6 2 Red Sox is your final. Eduardo Rodriguez, five and a third innings, four hits, no more runs, no walks, five strikeouts, leaves the game with a 3.44 ERA. Sam Gaviglio, three and a third innings, four hits, and earned run, a walk, and two strikeouts, leaves the game with a 4.58 ERA. The Royals defeat the White Sox 5 0 as they improve to 27 and 67. Chicago drops to 32 and 62. Top of the first home run. Jorge Bonifacio, two-run shot, 2 nothing Royals. Top of the fifth, RBI triple. Jorge Bonifacio, 3 nothing Royals. Top of the eighth, home run, Salvador Perez, a two-run shot, 5 nothing Royals was your final. Danny Duffy got the win, seven innings, four to no one runs, three walks, eight strikeouts, leaves the game with 4.59 ERA. Reynaldo Lopez got charged with the loss, seven and two-thirds innings, nine hits, five runs, no walks, seven strikeouts, leaves the game with a 3.91 ERA. The Rays absolutely destroyed the Twins 19-6 as they improved to 49-46. Minnesota drops to 43-50. Jamie Schultz improves to 1-0. Zach Duke drops to 3-3. Bottom of the second, home run Max Kepler, 1-0 Twins. Top of the fourth, two-run double Wilson Ramos, 2-1 Rays. RBI double Carlos Gomez, 3-1 Rays. Ground rule double Malik Smith, 4-1 Rays as... France takes a 3-1 lead in the 58th minute in the World Cup Final. Bottom of the 5th, infield single, Eduardo Escobar makes it a 4-2 game. Bottom of the 6th, RBI ground out, Joe Maurer, 4-3. Two-run double, Eddie Rosario, 5-4 twins. RBI single, Eduardo Escobar, 6-4 twins. Top of the seventh, RBI single, Kevin Kiermaier made it a 6-5 game. RBI single, Danny Duffy made it 6-6. Sacrifice fly, Jesus Sucre, 7-6 raise, two-run triple, Joey Wendell, 9-6 raise. Top of the eighth, two-run double, Jake Bowers, 11-6 raise. RBI ground out, Jesus Sucre, 12-6 raise, two-run home run, CJ Crone, 14-6 raise. Top of the ninth, home run, Carlos Gomez, 15-6. RBI ground out Kevin Kiermaier, 16-6. RBI single Daniel Robertson, 17-6. to 
Two run home run, Jake Bowers, 19 to 6 raises your final. Chris Archer, four and a third innings, five hits and a run, a walk, seven strikeouts. Leaves the game with a 4.29 ERA. Jose Barrio, six and a six hits, six turn runs, three walks, five strikeouts. Leaves the game with a 3.68 ERA. The Pirates defeat the Brewers six to two in game two of that doubleheader. As Pittsburgh improves to 47 and 49. Milwaukee drops to 55 and 42. Clay Holmes improves to one and one. Brent Sutter drops to Eight and six. Felipe Vasquez gets his twenty-third save of the year. Bottom of the third. Home run. Max Moroff. One nothing. Pirates. RBI single. David Freeze. Two nothing. Pirates. Bottom of the seventh. Home run. Jordan Luplo. Three nothing. Pirates. Bottom of the eighth. Home run. Starling Marte. Four nothing. Pirates. Home run. Gregory Polanco. Five nothing. Pirates. Home run, Jordan Luplo, his second of the game. Six nothing Pirates, top of the ninth, two-run single. Jesus Aguilar made it a 6-2 game. Pittsburgh holds on as they sweep the doubleheader. Milwaukee loses five straight. Clay Holmes, six innings, four hits, no earned runs, two walks, six strikeouts, leaves the game with a 3.65 ERA. Brent Sutter, five innings, two hits, an earned run, a walk, three strikeouts, leaves the game with a 4.39 ERA. The Diamondbacks defeat the Braves 3 nothing as they improve to 53 and 43. Atlanta drops to 51 and 42. Zach Greinke improves to 10 and 5. Sean Newcomb drops to 8 and 5. Brad Boxberger gets his 24th save of the year. Top of the first RBI single Steven Souza Jr. 1 nothing Diamondbacks. Top of the fourth RBI double Jeff Mathis. 2 nothing Diamondbacks. Top of the sixth home run Ktel Marte. 3 nothing Diamondbacks is your final. Zach Greinke was really good. Seven and two thirds innings, four hits, no runs, no walks, seven strikeouts. Leaves the game with a 3.18 ERA. He deserved to get named an all-star replacement for sure. Sean Newcomb, five and two thirds innings, four hits, three and runs, three walks, two strikeouts, leaves the game with a 3.51 ERA. The Astros defeat the Tigers nine to one as they improve to 64 and 34. Detroit drops to 40 and 57. Garrett Cole improves to 10 and two. Michael Fulmer drops to three and nine. Bottom of the first, sacrifice fly. Yuli Gurriel one nothing Astros. RBI double Josh Reddick, 2 0 Astros. Bottom of the second RBI double George Springer, 3 0 Astros. RBI single Alex Bregman, 4 0 Astros. Bottom of the third RBI single Martin Gonzalez, 5 0 Astros. Bottom of the fifth home run Josh Reddick, 6 0 Astros. Home run Evan Gaddis, 7 0 Astros. Top of the sixth RBI double James McCann. 7-1 Astros, bottom of the 7th. Two-run home run, Tyler White. 9-1 Astros is your final. Garrett Cole, 5 and 2 thirds innings, 3 hits an earned run, 4 walks, 8 strikeouts, leaves the game with a 2.52 ERA. Michael Fulmer was not good, 4 and 2 thirds innings, 10 hits, 7 runs, 2 walks, 2 strikeouts, leaves the game with a 4.5 ERA. I do not think he should be lauded as the best starting pitcher on the market. He has some upside, but he's not pitched well this season. And a team like the Yankees or Milwaukee, if I'm one of them, I wouldn't overpay to get a guy that's not having a good season. The Mets defeated the Nationals 7-4 as they improved to 39-54. Washington drops to 47-48. Zach Wheeler improves to 3-6. Austin Voth drops to 0-1. Horaces Familia gets his 17th save of the year. Bottom of the second RBI single, Ahmed Rosario, one nothing Mets. Sacrifice fly, Zach Wheeler, 2 nothing Mets. RBI ground out, Brandon Nimmo, 3 nothing Mets. Bottom of the fifth, three-run home run, Michael Conforto, 6 nothing Mets. RBI single, Jose Reyes, 7 nothing Mets. Top of the sixth, RBI single, Bryce Harper, 7-1. Fielder's choice, Anthony Rendon in the top of the eighth made it 7-2. Two-run home run, Matt Adams made it 7-4. That was your final. Zach Wheeler was outstanding, but he fell apart late as France goes up 4-1 in the 64th minute of the World Cup Final. Seven and two-thirds innings, eight hits, four runs, two walks, seven strikeouts, leaves the game with a 4.44 ERA. Austin Voth, this was his big league debut. Four and a third innings, nine hits, seven runs, three walks, three strikeouts, leaves the game with a very ugly 14.54 ERA. The Reds defeated the Cardinals 8-2 as they improved to 43-52. St. Louis drops to 47-46. Austin Bryce improves to 2-2. Jordan Hicks drops to 3-2. Bottom of the first, home run Matt Carpenter, 1-0 Cardinals. Bottom of the fourth, 
RBI ground out, Marcelo Zuna. 2 nothing Cardinals. Top of the 6th, RBI double, Scooter Jeanette made it 2-1. Top of the 7th, infield single, Jose Peraza, 2-2. Two, two. RBI single, Scooter Jeanette made it 3-2 Reds. 2-run single, and Eugenio Suarez, 5-2 Reds. Top of the 8th, 2-run single, Joey Votto, 7-2 Reds. Top of the 19th, infield single, Jose Peraza, 8-2 Reds is your final. Luis Castillo, 5 innings, 5 hits, 2 runs, no walks, 2 strikeouts, leaves the game with 5.49 ERA. Jack Flaherty, 5 innings, 2 hits, no one runs, 3 walks, 5 strikeouts, leaves the game with 3.24 ERA. The Marlins feed the Phillies 2-0 as they improve to 40-57. Philly drops to 53-41. Trevor Richards improves to 3-5. Aaron Nola drops to 12-3. Kyle Barclow gets his ninth save of the year. Bottom of the first field is Choice Starling Castro, 1-0 Marlins. RBI single, Martin Prado, 2-0 Marlins was your final. Trevor Richards was pretty good. Six innings, four hits, no one runs, two walks, four strikeouts. Leaves again the 4.740 ERA. Aaron Nola, six innings, four hits, two runs, one walk, five strikeouts. Leaves again the 2.3 ERA. Maybe he would have had the W had he gotten some run support. The Yankees defeat the Indians 5-4 as they improve to 62-32. Cleveland drops to 51-43. David Robertson improves to 7-3. Mike Levenger drops to 7-5. Aroldis Chapman gets his 26th save of the year. Top of the first three-run home run, Didi Gregorius, 3-0 Yankees. Bottom of the first home run, Jose Ramirez, 3-1. Bottom of the third, RBI ground down, Michael Bradley made it a 3-2 game. Top of the sixth home run, Greg Bird, 4-2 Yanks. Bottom of the sixth, infield single, Brandon Geyer, two-run score, courtesy of a throwing error. By Greg Bird that got over the head of Austin Romine. A better throw would have had the tying run out. Instead, Jose Ramirez scores 4-4. Top of the seventh, a defensive mistake by the Indians. What was a double by Austin Romine. He advances the third on the error by Brandon Geyer. And he scores on the other error by Eric Gonzalez. 5-4 Yankee. So it was an inside the park Little League home run for Austin Romine. Yankees hang on the win. CC Sabathia, five and two thirds innings, four hits, four and runs, two walks, two strikeouts, leaves the game the 3.51 ERA. Mike Clevenger, six innings, seven hits, four and runs, a walk, eight strikeouts, leaves the game the 3.47 ERA. The Orioles defeated the Rangers one nothing as they improved to 27 and 69. Texas drops to 41 and 55. Brad Brock improves to one and two. Martin Perez drops to two and four. Zach Britton gets his third save of the year. The lone run came in the bottom of the sixth. Sacrifice fly by Jonathan Scope. A run scores. 1-0 Baltimore was your final. Jeffrey Ramirez. Five innings, two hits, no one runs, three walks, seven strikeouts. Leaves the game with a 3.09 ERA as Croatia scores to make it a 4-2 game. Martin Perez. Seven innings, five hits, and earned run, two walks, four strikeouts. Leaves the game with a 7.67 ERA. The Angels feed the Dodgers 5-4 in 10 innings as they improve to 49-47. The Dodgers drop to 52-43. Jose Alvarez improves to 4-3. Kenley Jansen drops to 0-3. Top of the first, RBI single, Justin Upton, 1-0 Angels. Top of the second, sacrifice fly, David Fletcher, 2-0 Angels. Bases loaded walk, Justin Upton, 3-0 Angels. Bottom of the second, RBI single, Cody Ballinger, 3-1 Angels. Bases loaded hit by pitch, Chris Taylor made it 3-2. Bottom of the fifth, home run Chris Taylor ties it up at three apiece. Top of the seventh, home run Justin Upton, 4-3 Angels. Bottom of the ninth, RBI double, Yasmani Grindal, 4-4. Top of the tenth, home run Cole Calhoun, off of Kenley Jansen, 5-4. Angels, your final. Andrew Heaney, six in the third inning, six hits, two and runs, a walk, six strikeouts, leaves the game with a 3.780 ERA. Alex Wood, six innings, seven hits, three runs, two walks, six strikeouts, leaves the game with a 3.92 ERA. The Rockies defeated the Mariners 4 to 1 as they improve to 15 45. Seattle drops to 58 and 38. John Gray improves to 8 and 7. Wade LeBlanc drops to 5 and 1. Wade Davis gets his 27th save of the year. Bottom of the second, two run home run. Carlos Gonzalez, 2 nothing Rockies. Bottom of the fifth, RBI triple. Ian Desmond, 3 nothing Rockies. RBI single, Nolan Arenado, 4 nothing Rockies. Top of the eighth, RBI double. Chris Herman, 4 1. Rockies, your final. John Gray in his first start back in the big leagues after being demoted to AAA was pretty good. Seven and a third innings, five hits, an earned run of walks, six strikeouts. Leaves the game with a 5.44 ERA. 
Wade LeBlanc, four and a third inning, six hits, four and runs, two walks, three strikeouts, leaves again with a 3.63 ERA. The Athletics defeated the Giants four to three as they improved to 54 and 42. The Giants dropped to 15 and 47. Use Mario Petit improves to four and two. Tony Watson drops to two and three. Blake Trinan gets his 24th save for the season. Top of the second, sacrifice fly. Josh Fegley, one off an A's. Bottom of the second, RBI single, Allen Hansen. Ties up at one apiece. Top of the third, sacrifice fly, Chris Davis. Two on A's. Bottom of the fourth, RBI double, Stephen Duggar. Ties up at two apiece. RBI single, Austin Slater, 3-2 Giants. Top of the seventh, the go-ahead two-run home run, Mark Hanna. 4-3 A's is your final. Brett Anderson, three in a third innings, eight hits, three in runs, no walks. And a strikeout leaves the game with a 6.08. ERA. Jeff Samarto, four innings, three hits, two runs, two walks, and a strikeout. Leaves the game with a 6.25 ERA. The Cubs defeated the Padres 11 to 6 as they improved to 54 and 38. San Diego drops to 40 and 58. Kyle Hendricks improves to 6 and 8. Luis Perdomo drops to 1 and 4. Bottom of the first, two run home run, Eric Cosmer, 2 nothing Padres. Top of the second, home run Ian Hack made it a 2 1 game. Top of the fourth, go ahead, home run, Kyle Schwerber, 3-2 Cubs. Top of the fifth, two-run double, Javier Baez, 5-2 Cubs. Bottom of the seventh, two-run home run, Hunter Renfro, made it a 5-4 game. Top of the eighth, RBI single, Addison Russell, 6-4 Cubs. Two-run double, Victor Caratini, 8-4 Cubs. Top of the ninth, three-run home run, Javier Baez, 11-4 Cubs. Bottom of the ninth, two-run double, Freddie Galvis, made it an 11-6 game. Cubs win. Kyle Hendricks, five innings, five hits, two runs, no walks, three strikeouts, leaves the game with a 3.92 ERA. Luis Perdomo, four and a third innings, seven hits, five and runs, two walks, six strikeouts, leaves the game with a 7.55 ERA. Today's games, one o'clock you have Rangers-Orioles finale. Mike Miner and Miguel Castro. Blue Jays-Red Sox. Marcus Stroman and Brian Johnson. 110 on TBS, Yankees Indians, Masahiro Tanako and Trevor Bauer since it's a TBS game. I'm going to pick it. I'm going to say that the Cleveland Indians salvaged the final game of the series. So they would come away with a split against one of the league's best three teams in the Yankees as the Cleveland Indians hope to begin to feel right heading into that all-star break with a couple bullpen meltdowns and very inconsistent of late, whether it's the bullpen and even their offense has been a little inconsistent. They could have beat the Yankees last night and even Thursday night, but didn't get the job done. Their offense broke out and scored, I believe, 19 runs against the Reds. But I think Cleveland gets it done today. Trevor Bowers on the mound. I think this game will be close. I'm going to say 5-3 Cleveland. Masahiro Tanaka, second start off the disabled list. He's pitched okay this year. Not great, but not terrible either. He tends to give up a couple homers a game, but I like Cleveland in the spot at home. The better pitcher on the mound. Again, 5-3 Indians is my prediction for that game on TBS. And I believe it'll be Brian Anderson and Ron Darling on the call, if not Ernie Johnson and Ron Darling. Nationals Mets, Jeremy Hellickson and Corey Oswalt. Phillies Marlins. Aniel De Los Santos and Jose Urena. 130 Diamondbacks Braves. Patrick Corbin and Julio Tehran. Brewers Pirates finale. See if Milwaukee can snap their losing streak. Julius Chassin and Joe Musgrove. 2 o'clock Royals White Sox. Birch Smith and Lucas Giolito, race twins. Ryan Stanek is your opener today against Fernando Romero. Tigers Astros, Francisco Liriano and Justin Verlander. Reds Cardinals, Anthony DiSclefani and Miles Mikolas. So that's a 2-15 game. 3 o'clock Mariners Rockies, Mike Leake and Tyler Anderson. 4 o'clock Angels Dodgers. Deck McGuire and Clayton Kershaw, Athletics Giants, Sean Manaya and Andrew Suarez, and last but not least, Cubs Padres, John Lester and Eric Lauer. Two baseball news items I want to get to before I go to the Summer League. The Cardinals had fired Mike Matheny around 11 o'clock last night. This is 
is a somewhat surprise. It's a surprise to the national baseball fans and some of the national media, but not so much the St. Louis media because the team is underachieved this year. They're 47 and 46, third place in the National League Central. They have some key players underperforming, such as Dexter Fowler. Matt Carpenter underperformed in the first half of the year, to, or the first couple months of the year, I should say. But he's improved a lot lately to the point where he made the final cut on the All-Star ballot. But I feel a little sorry for Matheny. Matheny was hired after the team won the World Series in 2011 when Tony La Russa retired from managing. The first couple of years they were a World Series contender and then they made some front office mistakes. Obviously the tragic loss of Oscar Tavares did not help because he was on his way to becoming a special talent in this league. He would have been a perennial all-star. He would have been like their type of Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, Aaron Judge type of player that they could have had, but that's so very tragic what happened to Tavares in 2013, or I'm sorry, 2014, after the team lost to the San Francisco Giants in the NLCS. I remember the news broke during the World Series and Joe Buck talking about it extensively on the broadcast of that World Series. And the Dexter Fowler signing did not work out for them, as I mentioned. They lost some key players, whether it's free agency or trade. Mike Leak, they traded away. Mike Marco Gonzalez, they traded away. Tyler O'Neill was the prospect they got back from in return. That might work out in the long run, but Mike Leak's a solid pitcher. A lot of injuries. Michael Walker on the disabled list. Adam Wainwright on the disabled list. That certainly doesn't help them. Paul DeYoung was hurt for a while this year. So a lot of things went wrong for St. Louis, and you can't fire the players. You can only fire the manager. And there's a couple bits of turmoil, like the front office getting after Dexter Fowler. Mike Matheny got into some fights with the players, apparently. Him and Bud Norris got into a little bit of a feud, apparently, too. The bench coach will take over as the interim manager. Mike Schilt, the favorite to get this job full-time, is Joe Girardi, as many national media members have been reporting overnight, such as Bob Nightingale and John Heyman. Other candidates for his job, in case it's not Girardi, could very well be Dusty Baker, or they can go outside the box a little bit and hire somebody we're not even thinking of the way the Yankees did with Aaron Boone or the Red Sox did with Alex Cora. And we'll see how this team plays the rest of the season. Now there's talk that if they fault their, after the All-Star break that they could turn into sellers. That would be interesting. They would have a lot of guys in the trade market. We'll get into buyers and sellers again on next week's podcasts before we get into the second half of the season. Another bit of injury news is that Wilson Ramos got placed on the disabled list due to a hamstring injury. He's out of the All-Star game, too. Salvador Perez will be taking his starting place, but taking his roster spot is Cleveland's Jan Gomes. The catcher field in the American League is very weak this year. That has to do with Salvador Perez being hurt a lot of the year, not living up to expectations, and same for Gary Sanchez of the New York Yankees. If Sanchez was healthy, he'd be an absolute lock to start the All-Star game for sure. Before I go on to go over the NBA Summer League scores from yesterday, I believe we are heading into the quarterfinal round of the Summer League playoffs. The Pistons defeated the Bulls 72-66. Henry Allenton, 21 points in the win. Antonio Balakney, 24 in the feet. The Cavaliers defeated the Rockets, 92-87. Colin Sexton, 17 points and 3 assists in the win. Danielle House Jr., 30 points in the feet. The Raptors defeated the Hornets, 87-84 in overtime. 
Dwayne Bacon, 28 in the w- in defeat. Raw Alkins, 25 in the win. The Celtics feed the Heat, 74-72. Piera Henry, 15 in the win. Derek Walton Jr., 15 in defeat. The 76ers defeated the Bucks, 91-89. Furkan Kormaz, 19 in the win. Christian Wood, 27 in defeat. The Grizzlies defeated the Jazz, 92-86. Javon Carter, 26 points and 6 assists in the win. Georges Niang, 18 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists in defeat. And the quarterfinals of the Summer League playoffs begin today. Pistons-Lakers is on ESPN. At 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, Raptors, Cavs, 8 o'clock, Celtics, Trailblazers, and 76ers, Grizzlies is on at 10 o'clock. The last three games are on ESPN, too. And Pistons, Lakers is the lone game on ESPN. No Sunday night baseball tonight as the baseball season will resume and start its second half, ironically enough, on Thursday with an exclusively aired game between the Cardinals and the Cubs from Wrigley Field. And that's that. That's it for today's podcast. I'll be back tomorrow recapping the World Cup final, all the baseball action, Summer League, and any other things that go on in the world of sports. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.